A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Films I Should Have Talked About Years Ago, Season 2. Now let's get ready here, because I've talked quite a bit about bonus episodes. As a matter of fact, if you could basically count up all the different things I've done here in mid to late 2022, with all the films I've seen in theaters, and possibly elsewhere, I could basically count up a good majority of them. Nope, Bullet Train, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and then of course, my most recent one now, at least, was Netflix's The Sea Beast. So, I've definitely been on a roll when it comes to bonus content, but let's get to one final episode that revolves around bonus content. In this case, it'll be yet another Netflix release. Brand new summer 2022, which is probably still fresh in some people's minds. Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie, based off of the somewhat long-running Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon cartoon. Nickelodeon is currently the owner of the franchise, in the same way that we've seen others come and go. But the ownership, of course, now belongs to one of the biggest cartoon networks out there. Not to be confused with Cartoon Network. But the thing is, Nickelodeon has definitely made a huge acquiring of different franchises over the past 15 years. And so, I'm more than proud of what they've managed to accomplish in recent years. Of course, you remember here in this series even, I've talked about the likes of some other films that they've done, like Playing With Fire, which ultimately wasn't great by any means, but it was 2019, what did you really expect? How does this compare, though, for a new 2022 release Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie is simply put a bit of a continuation in a way from what the series left off with. Here is the plot. It basically takes place a long time into the future. A bit of a desolate wasteland which is accompanied by evil destruction by any means. The Ninja Turtles are trying their best to fight off all of this evil and all of this hatred but yet they just can't. Casey Jones, whom you certainly probably remember from that famous hockey mask look that he has, is a known ally and friend of the Ninja Turtles themselves. But in this exact timeline, they've established that this future is practically overrun with Shredder's maniacal evil alliance. Of course, it wasn't just Shredder who was behind all this. It was a good majority of other villains as well. Not too many I'm familiar with, so I really will apologize right away for anything that could be around that I might not have too much knowledge about. But then again, I only just saw this film once. So anyways, a portal opens and Casey Jones is flung right through. It turns out he basically appears in New York City in the past a while before any of these events had begun. He basically goes out, finds the actual Ninja Turtles from the past, and eventually, well, he basically gets strapped down to a chair. He explains what happened, and they eventually find out this was in fact some sort of power. Mysterious power by any means. The whole movie is in fact one of those pure examples of how the future and the past cannot really mingle well together. Because after all, you got a Casey Jones who was flung through a portal into a New York City that happens prior to mere devastation and annihilation. And then you got the past counterparts who are in fact all unaware of the events that had actually happened according to this one time traveler. But let's, get, let's be real here at this point. There are in fact a lot of other factors that I have yet to discuss. The writers. Did they do well here? I can't be too sure about that either. Directors? Inconclusive. Cast? Well, I guess one big highlight here is that it has Ben Schwartz. Yeah, the same Ben Schwartz who was just fresh off of the set of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It came out a few months earlier, in April 2022. This came out in August, just a few months later. So, I suppose Schwartz was really busy by this point. 
He probably is going to be a little more busy though, because we got another Sonic the Hedgehog film that is supposedly coming out soon, in 2023 most likely, but I guess there's not really a whole lot more I could say about this film, other than, well, many other iconic moments, like when April and Splinter are arguing with each other. Quite never gets old. Then with the many fights that happen between the Ninja Turtles and the various enemies they encounter, the many scenes, the many bits of comedy that are all over the place at this point, it pretty much just goes to show there are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with a lot to deal with. And this film really does show a whole lot of things that you could probably never expect. But by the end of the film, all is settled, enemies are all gone. And the timeline seems to have been fixed. They're all out there in the Empire State Building, overlooking what their own future may have to offer. Now that they've fixed everything, who even knows what will happen? Nickelodeon themselves has actually gone as far to say that another season of the original Rise of the Mutant Turtles is supposed to happen very soon. When and how? It doesn't really seem to happen very much. There's a lot of announcements that come up and there's hardly any detailing to them, but even if there is going to be another Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles season of the actual cartoon that could probably follow from where this movie left off, who really knows exactly what could actually take place? But there are a lot of things that I could definitely add on here. But I just don't have much else left to say. There just doesn't seem to be a whole lot you can get. I feel like I've seen everything. Yeah. I'll get to talk about a few other things though by the time this season is over. Hopefully, I'll have lots of good viewership out there. And hopefully, you guys really enjoy this stuff. And I know that a lot of people out there really do appreciate the way that I've been reviewing any kind of movie, any kind of game, any kind of anything at all. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.